Over the last 30 years, I've been studying the impact of the foods we eat, the liquids we drink, on the delicate pH balance of the fluids of the body, which are ideally balanced, slightly alkaline, on a pH scale that goes from 0 to 14 at 7.365. Now, uh, that delicate pH balance is so critical that any movement uh, too far to the right if it goes too high or it goes too low, we feel these, these impacts in the way that we feel on our energy levels. Uh, in fact, a pH that drops down to approximately 6.9, you would go into cardiac arrest. So it doesn't have to move much. And so the body does everything it can to maintain that delicate balance. One of the most important things that one can do to begin the process of neutralizing the acids from the, foods and uh, from the foods we eat and also uh, uh, from metabolism is the most important thing that we can do is start changing uh, the water that we're drinking. That water has to be in an alkaline state. It has to be purified. It has to be energized or alkalized. It has to contain the hydroxyl ions uh, and uh, saturated with these, these electrons. I call it electron, uh, electron rich water. And uh, it's got to be void of, of, uh, of elements that are going to be uh, uh, acidifying and, and contribute to more congestion and breakdown of the body. So we need pure water. The water has to be filtered. It has to be energized. We have to increase its electrical potential. We need to break down the clustering effect, which is very simple when we remove the acid, because as I said earlier, acid causes the molecules of water to stick together. We can break those down into smaller molecular states so that the water is wetter. So we're looking for uh, more bioavailable water, water that can permeate the cell membranes.